What makes me human is that I'm a member of the species Homo sapiens. But what makes me the same person over time may be something different. In the 17th century, many philosophers were, understandably, very worried about what might happen to them on the Day of Judgment. Traditional Christianity emphasized the resurrection of the body. However, some people were very concerned about cannibals. What would happen if you were unfortunate enough to be gobbled up by a hungry human flesh eater? On the Day of Judgment, how could you be raised and judged since you would have been absorbed within somebody else's body? John Locke's account of personal identity avoided that sort of problem. Rather than bodily continuity, he focused on memory. It is our memories that connect together the different parts of our lives. If a pauper and a prince switched memories and the pauper had committed a crime, it would be the person with the prince's body and the pauper's memories that deserved punishment. For Locke, person was a forensic term one that is particularly relevant when judging an individual for their actions. If someone had genuinely forgotten their crime, Locke believed they weren't responsible for it. To be responsible, you have to be aware of what you have done, and if you can't remember your own actions, then you are literally a different person. (laughs) 